Hey guys, welcome back to the Tiki Kev shop. I have an instructional video here, but it's a more uh, specific one. Now, if you, you see this bar sitting here that I'm standing behind, this bar is actually going to Malakoff, Texas. It's actually getting uh, shipped out there, but this instructional video is for them on how to put it together, which it's going to be, it's really, and don't take this the wrong way, it's pretty much dummy proof the way uh, I build the bars. There's very minimal work when it comes to putting your bars back together. And given the fact that we are using synthetic thatch now, it makes all my bars shippable. Although, they're big, they're heavy, and they do cost a lot to ship out. Especially if you're sending multiple crates of stuff like that. So, uh, in order for us to put this together, or for them to put this together, I'm going to take the uh, camera back from Eric. And then we're going to go over exactly what to do to put this thing together. So, Eric, come on back here and let me take the camera from you. Okay. So, all right. So, Joey and crew, whoever's putting this bar back together. A uh, couple things. When you guys get it, uh, in order to put the roof on, what you're going to do is you're going to take these poles here, these long 4x4 four four poles. And I have them marked. Okay. So, you're going to place those marks right on top of the pole here in the front and you're going to go from front to back and both poles are exactly the same so it doesn't matter which side you put the poles on as long as they go front to back and you take my marks and that those marks will be the top of that pole so Eric and I are going to lift this on now so you can get an idea of what this is going to look like okay go ahead and put that in position Eric which way do I have to go uh, towards you, a bit, and towards you? Right, yep. right about there okay <clears throat> excuse me so that's that's what it's going to look like once it's up there now I'm going to supply the screws we got six inch uh, screws that you're going to screw down I'll make sure that they're uh, in with the delivery okay so once you screw that down then what you're going to do there's two sets of braces so there's a 24 inch brace which will go in the front and Eric will hold that up there and again I'll supply the screws we just put some four inch screws in there and typically what we do is because all our bars are permanent we'll tack it in with a nail gun and then we'll throw the the screws into it so that's how your uh, front brace will go and then the back braces are a little bit smaller so and they're labeled as well as you can see front brace and then this is the back brace all right, and that'll go just like that. Same thing, you could tack it in with a gun and then uh, back screw it. All right, so that's that's really simple. So then you're going to have the roof. Now, I designed the roof so it's in two pieces. And, Joey, you've been seeing this roof sit here. This thing, we built this for you guys four months ago. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take the one half of the roof and you're just going to set it right up on top. Of those poles and then you're gonna put the other half which is way way over here I can't wait to see these things going they've been here since I think April but you're gonna take the other half and you're gonna set that on and then you're just gonna screw the two together and that's it that's all you have to do and then once you screw the two together and they're up top and again I will supply all the screws for you guys I'll put a big bag of screws in there uh, multiple sizes but what you'll do is you'll take, uh, probably I'll give you six inch screws for this. And you'll just screw from the underneath of this roof support into the frame of the roof. And that will stabilize everything. And you guys are set. Now I know this goes underneath an existing roof. And the uh, our roof is just for, uh, for looks, aesthetics. So, uh, yeah, so if it doesn't fit... I know we were working with a specific height, so everything I built should fit. But if it doesn't, all you have to do is cut these vertical poles down a little bit. Because you got, you got plenty of headroom. They're over seven feet, so um, you'll have plenty of room to cut them down. So the other thing is, that's your refrigerator cabinet, and the refrigerator will be with it. And there's your sink and ice bin. And your cabinets are right there, and you have a dry well. All right? So, before we get to the footrest, we're going to do one more thing. So, Eric, you want to show them the panel where the electric goes in? Point it oh, out. Yeah. The one okay. with the hole in it. Yep. So, right here. Okay. So, these, uh, down these. here is your hole for your electric to come into. And it will actually tie into a panel. I don't know if you can see it. 
uh, right there there's a panel there that unscrews but if you notice the footrest bracket is cut that way you can take that panel off that panel is screwed in so you can take that panel off to make it easier to fish that wire through and then just screw it right back in and you tie again you tie every whoops my fingers in the way see that little wooden panel there that unscrews and then there's a uh, junction box inside Whew. why am I out of breath <laughs> I, I know I talk too much Ooh. all right so anyway uh, let's get to the footrest so the footrest is pretty self-explanatory okay so if you notice the footrest it's in a u-shape it will slide right over top of that bracket that Eric's pointing to and right underneath the tiki guys and it'll slide all the way to the end and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push it in to the end of the bracket right there and then what I'm gonna there's already uh, actually I'll go show you there's screw holes that we already pre-drilled for you guys and you're gonna screw it right into that bracket and then once you have that on make sure the footrest comes to the end of the bracket because then what you have is your end caps so your end caps will screw into the end of the footrest. Actually, Eric, you want to yeah. hold that yeah, absolutely. at the end of the footrest? Yeah. Exactly. So, well, so left side up. Well, I'll get to that. So it'll screw in just like that. And okay, let me have that. Let me have it back. So we have uh, pre-drilled holes in this too. The one here on the right will actually go into the bracket. It's angled to the right to go into the bracket. The other two holes go into the corner brace right there. So you just screw that in and you're pretty much done. Now both of these are labeled as well. So if you're standing behind the bar, looking at the footrest after you put it in, okay? This is left side and the arrows indicate up, just like the letters say, you pay. And then you just screw it in just like that and then Eric has the other one, that's the other side, that's the right side. And you're gonna do the same thing. So that pretty much is all you have to do for installation. The hardest part is going to be getting this probably to where it needs to go. Uh, I'm not sure how you guys are going to do that, but this bar is heavy. Uh, it's actually very heavy. So uh, you'll have fun with that. So if you guys have any questions, Eric, anything I forgot? I don't think so. I think I got everything. So if there's anything I forgot... Uh, I'll give you guys a call, but I think I covered everything. And that's a typical um, typical installation for one of my Tiki bars that I am not going to be there to install. So we're actually doing the same thing for the military in Hawaii uh, after the Pittsburgh bar is done. And you can see, Joey, your bar is taking up space. I need to get this other bar off the table. This is a That one's a monster. That thing's huge. So anyway, uh, we're designing the Hawaii bar exactly the same and then we're shipping it out to hawaii with very minimal install or assembly all right so that's it for this instructional video uh anybody that watches this anybody have any questions i love everybody's comments um just let me know if you guys want to see different content let me know let me know what's going on uh, and again if you D diyers are out there i have books on how to build this stuff so uh Give me a shout. All right, from the Tiki Kev shop for Eric and Tiki Kev. Tiki Kev out.